The irony about this whole situation is that <laughs> Devin Haney and everybody on that side will complain about Tank implementing the rehydration clause. Hey. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They say that, oh, I'm fighting the real Ryan Garcia, you know. <laughs> I'm not putting no rehydration clause. That, that was it, right? No, that, that was what they were saying before the fight. And now look where we're at now. <laughs> Ain't that karma. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> complaining about how much he rehydrated. So it, you can't have it both ways. So you can't be, on one hand, you can't say, oh, this person used a rehydration clause. That's weak. But then on the other hand, say, oh, this person came in too big. The same thing that I do, but he did it better than me. Oh. Which, which, which one do you want? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Very hypocritical, man. The hypocrisy is real. <laughs> From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold. We're about to freeze, but we're Florida boys. Hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGA GM. Prince got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is, man. The doctor's in the house. So, look, check this out, man. I want to talk about the... <laughs> I'm always laughing because, you know, with boxing, man, there's always funny stuff going on. But today, I want to talk about uh, Devin Haney and his accusations or, his, or or him implying... Not not implying. He actually said that, you know, the fight wasn't fair between him and Ryan Garcia. We all know how everything transpired. We know that Ryan Garcia came in late he, and everybody thinks it was strategic, right? Which it pretty much was, you know, he, um, uh, 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 the obligation, the contractual obligation or was negotiated in the fight. You know, the, um, the limit for the for the bout for a championship bout to take place was that you beat the beat the, uh, uh, the weight requirements, which was 140 pounds on weigh in. He didn't meet that. He came in heavy. He exceeded it by three pounds, you know, 3.2 to be exact. And, um, you know, so that so that disqualified him for, for making the fight a championship fight. It didn't disqualify him from the fight, at, period, right? Well, 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 it was up to Devin Haney and um, the Haney team to, you know, either commence with the fight or, or call it off. Now, we know due to the monetary implications and, 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 the, and the pride, too, that the fight wouldn't be called off, number one. But I think, number two, and more importantly, I think it wasn't called off because I, I don't think Devin Haney thought that Ryan Garcia had a legitimate chance of beating him. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I think that's what that's what the primary thing was, uh, and, and he was sadly mistaken. You know what I'm saying? But all this all this um, cheating allegations, I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all, uh, I'm gonna break it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I love to make um, make comparisons between sports, and, and so I could so I could show y'all the parallels, right? So Ryan Garcia, you know, he came in overweight, and he paid the fine, right? He paid 500k per pound. Here you go. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm tired of that. It was so disrespectful. You gonna hit me in my mouth with some goddamn money. Right, so he, he paid a total of 1.5 million, right? We already know that. Um, that's information that's well known, right? And also he was not able to win the title at 140 pounds because he came in overweight, right? However, the, he was not disqualified from fighting. Um, Devin Haney and his team did not cancel the fight. So that means that they were cool with how it went on. So if you're cool with how the fight commences, then you cannot uh, 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 retroactively accuse somebody of cheating because of something that you knew was going to occur when the fight commenced. So basically what I'm saying is once you agreed to let the fight happen, there's no cheating allegations. And, and, and the irony is that, you know, whether you like it or not, um, Devin Haney employs the same, the same tactics, the same strategic moves that he does that that Ryan Garcia did to him. He did to Regis Progray. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? He did the Lomachenko. He did the George Cambosis. You know what I'm saying? Now, the dip, the big difference is that Devin Haney made weight initially, and then he blew up. But the end result is the same thing. It's coming in larger than anticipated. And that's what Ryan Garcia did, and, and, it, and, and um, it happened to make him the bigger man, and Devin Haney couldn't handle that. So while I respect Devin Haney, he's a warrior for, he for getting up, you know, and keep going, fighting, and the fighting spirit that he displayed, I love that. He showed grit. He showed, he showed a um, championship level of determination um, to keep getting up and keep fighting. But I don't like this 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 uh complaining. Everybody talk about excuses. That's what this is. It's an excuse because it's not unfair. So the, let me go back to the comparison I was gonna make in basketball. When um part of the rules is that if you break the rules, it gives the other team the ball. It doesn't cancel the game. So if you go out of bounds, that's against the rules, right? What happens? The other team gets the ball. 
what I'm saying? If you commit a foul, what happens? The other team gets a ball or they shoot free throws. So that's what Ryan Garcia did. Ryan Garcia committed a foul. <laughs> he went out of bounds. He put the ball in uh, Devin Haney's court to cancel it. They wanted to keep going. He uh, he came in overweight. He paid the money, but the, but the fight still went on, just like a foul, right? So he committed a foul. He didn't he didn't cheat. What? You see what I'm saying? It wasn't an unfair fight. What? You know it it is what it is. That's, if that's the case, then you got to also you also got to be mad at Devin Haney for for going against Regis Progre in the manner he did, coming in at 165 pounds. So I think this this this, this is. This is this is a bad look, you know what I'm saying? He just lost. It is what it is. It what um it, it, you could say that what he uh Ryan Garcia had an advantage, but it's the same it's the same tactics that Devin Haney and his team they they use all the time. You know what I'm saying? They utilize the same the same advantages, you know what I'm talking about? So it is what it is. Someone just did it better than you. <laughs> so you just gotta take that L on the chin. But I'm tired of hearing this Ryan Garcia cheated. He did not cheat. Did he have an advantage? Yes. You want to say it's an unfair advantage? I don't think it was unfair because that's what they agreed upon. And that's what the same tactics that Devin Haney does. He just does it in a different manner where he makes weight initially. That is the big difference, I will say. However, just because it's different, the end result is the same. You still came in. You still come in way bigger than your opponent. And someone did the same thing to you. And that's it, man. Oh, you mad because I'm styling on you. And, and, you know, the irony about this whole situation is that... <laughs> Devin Haney and everybody on that side will complain about Tank implementing the rehydration clause. You know what I'm saying? They say that, oh, I'm fighting the real Ryan Garcia, you know. <laughs> I'm not putting no rehydration clause. That, that was it, right? No, that, that was what they were saying before the fight. And now look where we're at now. Ain't that karma. Striking twice. So it's just like, you know, it's, it sound, to me, it sounds like you wish you would have implemented the rehydration clause. Because that's what this stops, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it stops people from uh, using the weight and, and, and abusing <laughs> And abusing the ability to blow up, you know, what I'm saying and come in as a as a much larger man and in the weight class is just it's just funny because how people uh, denounce and discredit and, and 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 rebuke people for implementing the rehydration clause. At the end of the day, you saying it's unfair. That means that it's not, that means that you wanted to. Uh, a rehydration clause you complain about how much you rehydrated so it's, you can't have it both ways so you can't be on one hand you can't say oh this person used a rehydration clause that's weak but then on the other hand say oh this person came in too big the same thing that i do but he did it better than me oh you mad because i'm styling on which w w which one do you want you see what i'm saying <laughs> very hypocritical man the hypocrisy is real <laughs> And if they have a rematch at 140 and Ryan Garcia makes way, I still think he wins. But that's just my opinion, yo. You know what I'm talking about? So y'all let me know what y'all think. Am I wrong about this? Am I right about this? Yeah, let me know in the comments, man. I appreciate y'all. Remember with God, we can do anything without God, we are nothing. Y'all be easy. God bless. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.